When approaching and departing the helicopter with the blades turning, it can be very dangerous. For that reason, we have DISC protocols. Okay. The word DISC protocol means that we have procedures and rules in place to protect you so that you can safely approach and depart the helicopter with the blades turning. When we look at the helicopter from above, there are several areas that you should avoid and there's several areas that are safe. If you look towards the back of the helicopter, the red section, that is to be avoided. There are several reasons for that. Firstly, the pilot cannot see you, so has no idea that you're there. That means he may decide to take off or do a manoeuvre when you are in a dangerous area. The second part is the tail rotor. The tail rotor spins six times faster than the main rotor. That means you cannot see it, but it is right at your chest level. So if you're walking out towards the back of the helicopter, you could inadvertently walk into it. The back section is to be avoided. There is no entry or exit to the back. If we now look at the nine o'clock and three o'clock positions, we have a yellow caution area. You may still approach and depart the helicopter in this area, but you must do so with caution. The pilot cannot actually see you unless he turns his head and looks for you. So if there is a reason to go out towards the nine or three o'clock position, make sure you have made eye contact with the pilot and you have his permission first. The second yellow area of caution is out the front. Although the pilot can see you fine, the danger is that the rotor disc can be tilted forward and therefore the distance between your head and the tips of the rotor blades is at its minimum. So if you're going to walk out towards the front, make sure you do so with permission from the pilot and with caution. The two preferred areas to approach and depart the helicopter are at the 10 o'clock and two o'clock positions. This gives the best compromise between the pilot being able to see you and avoiding the tips of the blades at the front. Prior to entering the helicopter, stand outside of the rotor disc area. Make eye contact with the pilot. Give a thumbs up. If the pilot gives a thumbs up back, you may walk, do not run towards your door. Inside each of the helicopters is a safety in-flight passenger briefing card. This card just has additional information that you should be familiar with. It will tell you where the emergency and survival equipment are. It will have some instructions on how to put on a life jacket and some instructions on how to sit in the event of an emergency. It will also have further information on how to safely approach and depart the helicopter, as well as how to use your seat belt and the emergency exits. You should make yourself familiar with this document and reference it.